All right, Chris, thank you. And now to new information tonight in the arrest of the Pulse nightclub shooter's widow. Just 24 hours after Nur Salman was arrested and charged in connection with the mass shooting, some of her family members are speaking out. Sonica Dange joins us live here in the studio with that part of the story. Sonica? And today the public defender assigned to Nur Salman told the judge a private attorney was on his way to represent Salman. That means she'll be back in court tomorrow. In the meantime, for the first time since her arrest, we are hearing from Salman's family. We believe in her. When she said I'm innocent, she, she, we know she's innocent. She said, when she said I, I have no idea what that crazy guy doing, we know that. Nora Salman's Uncle Al speaking out in front of a crowd of reporters Tuesday in California, hours after she made her first appearance in federal court. Salman was arrested Monday morning in California. Investigators say Salman aided and abetted Mateen's attempt at providing material support to ISIL from the end of April 2016 to June 12th, the night of the Pulse nightclub shooting. How could she live in that home, though, and not know that something was awry? Well, I don't know. I don't know to answer you. I, I never been in a situation like this. When I, I can tell when the person he, he click and he's going to do something crazy like that. The indictment says she's also facing charges of obstruction of justice after lying to officers. An official told ABC News she may have known something about the attack, but claimed she tried to talk him out of it. Salman told the New York Times in November she had no idea what her husband was planning, even up to the night of the shooting. She was sleeping. She was sleeping. Her mother-in-law called her telephone early in the morning to tell her where's Omar. She said, well, he's not here. Let me call him and find out. She either called him or text him. He responded. He said, don't you see the news? She told him, no. He said, I love you, babe. I hang up. That's all she knows. Again, Zaman will be back in federal court tomorrow. If convicted, she could face life in prison. Sonic Dange, WPBF 25 News.